Hello and welcome to this bonus Facebook Live uh, about bodies. And what's really interesting is my tech wouldn't allow me to connect the normal way. So I'm starting this a little bit late because it's really interesting. And as I talk about the energetic forces, the energetic resistance that keeps us, um, or it doesn't really keep us, but it resists us when we're trying to do some things. And this class about bodies is, it was going to change quite a bit. Um, my body is just tingling, feeling the energies that we're going to be changing um, around bodies uh, and the connection you have with your body. And when we have, um, we're about ready to step up, we're going to create great change in our life. We often have things that happen in our lives that seem to resist us. And what like the new age spiritual people often tell us is that that's your own internal resistance. Yeah. Doesn't that feel like heavy? Yeah, because it's not true. While there might be some of that, I found that there's mainly these energetic forces that want you to stay exactly where you are. They want you to feel limited. They want you to not have a good relationship with your body. Oh, do you feel the sadness around that? Wow. Yeah, because I talk about like your body as if she's a little bit different. She's separate from you. And in some ways that's true. And in some ways it's not. I look at bodies as they're our partner. They're actually our true soulmate. They're the person that you're with for life. Oh, do you feel your body relax and you relax into that? Yeah. And one of the parts is our bodies and our beings sometimes want slightly different things. Yeah, I know that doesn't feel right or whatever, but you can think about it. Like, um, does your body want to sit in front of a computer all day? <laughs> no, no, she doesn't. But she also understands that um, in order to survive in this world, that she or he does need to be sitting for a lot longer than she would like. And I look at it, uh, the interaction with you and your body as... You know, when it starts out, it's kind of like you ordering your body to do things. Yeah, and I know it doesn't feel right, but that's what we're kind of taught. You know, you order your body to sit. You order your body to go for a walk or a run or to exercise. Yeah, yeah. and how I've changed that for me anyway is to more of it's the negotiation. Now, the thing is, is your body loves you and she wants to support you in whatever you're doing even if that's not exactly what she would like to be doing at this time. And so what I'm gonna be talking more about in the, the course that's just, just coming up, but whether you take it or not, you can have a negotiation with your body. So basically, if your body doesn't want to sit in front of a computer all day, yeah, and she totally doesn't, um, the thing is, is you can negotiate. It's like, okay, body, um, we need to sit in front of the computer because we need to make money. Um, we have to <laughs> keep this job. Um, so what's something you would like to do afterwards? Oh, yeah. And the thing is, is our bodies are so used to not being asked what they would like to do or not being thanked for doing their job. And they're totally okay if you don't thank them. You know, there's no judgment there. But um, when you thank and acknowledge your body from being the amazing being that she or he is, Woo. Do, you, do you feel that, that like that little tingle in your body about like, whoa, you're acknowledging me. Awesome. Yeah. Um, and so it's interesting um, that a lot of times in our spiritual journey, our self-growth journey, we're told that, you know, our bodies are base. They're the connection to the physical world and you don't want that connection. Yeah, and I'm going to be talking about how you actually really do want that connection. You want the connection to your body and to this physical world because we chose to come here into this physical world. Wow. Yeah, and everywhere it kind of feels like you wouldn't want to come into this physical world. Yeah, do you choose to remove and destroy all that? Yes, I choose that. Vaporize, liquefy, vaporize, liquefy, vaporize. Wow. Yeah, and the thing is, is like, while you chose to come into this physical body and this physical world, you didn't really like what was going on around you. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that's something <clears throat> that as part of our spiritual growth and our empowerment growth, we're changing how we can interact with the world. And then as we do that, that's actually going to start to change the whole world around us. Wow. Yeah, do you feel that? And because it's true, because you're a lot more powerful than you think you are. You're a lot more capable than you think you are. And your body is stronger and your body is more capable than you think she or he is. 
Ooh, ooh, woo, do you feel that? Yeah, this is amazing about how when we recognize our body for being amazing, because we usually spend a lot of time judging our bodies. Ah. Yeah, so all the judgment you can just release. Ugh. And everywhere you've been judging your body. Ah. Woo, do you choose to release and let all that go? Woo, yes, I choose that. Vaporize, liquefy, vaporize, liquefy, vaporize, liquefy. Wow. And one of the parts I talked about in some of the previous videos was that the connection between you, the being, and the body has been messed with. Ah. And so like when you're asking your body to do things or you're um, suggesting your body or, or even ordering your body to do things and your body doesn't respond in the way that you would like. Wow. Yeah. A lot of times we blame our bodies for that. But what if some of that was because the communication between you, the being, and you, the body, was being messed with? Ugh. Yeah. Right. And the thing is, it works both ways. It's so like when you've been trying to communicate with your body, your body didn't get the full messages or the full intent of what you were asking her for. Whoa. Wowza. And the same thing, when your body was communicating with you, that communication was also messed with. So you weren't fully understanding what your body was saying. Yeah. Yeah. So everywhere you've been making yourself wrong for not understanding what your body was saying to you. Ah. Ooh, yikes. Woo. Do you choose to remove and destroy all that? Ah. Ooh, owie. Yes, I choose that. Retract, rescind, revoke, recant, renounce, make null and void, make null and void, make null and void, make null and void. Yeah. And so a lot of the parts that, you know, we've been making ourselves wrong or our bodies wrong was actually because the communication uh, was being messed with between us. Ugh. Yeah. And so we're going to change that. And then one of the other parts, which, you know, we're going to get in more in the, in the class is what if the other reason that it's hard for you um, to change things around your body or if um, there's certain parts of your body that are painful and you haven't been able to change them, what if some of that was because you don't energetically own or energetically have rights to that part of your body? Ugh! Whoa, do you feel like that, that tension that crimps up? Yeah. Woo. Yeah, so everything that just brought up, do you choose to remove and destroy all that? Oh, yes, I choose that. Vaporize, liquefy, vaporize, liquefy, vaporize, liquefy. Wow. Yeah, and it actually goes a little bit further. And my good friend and colleague, Jaden Fox, like talked about this um, a couple years ago and I had a lot of reads, so I'm gonna be doing this in the class too, is what if there are parts of your body that you actually don't legally own? And all the unknowable, unspeakable, untouchable, undetectable, unconsciousness, anti-consciousness, disinformation, energy fog cloaking, oh, and all the manipulation around you, ah, all manipulation around your body, and all manipulation around this topic. Ah, do you choose to remove and destroy all that? Whoa, yes, I choose that. Vaporize, liquefy, vaporize, liquefy, vaporize, liquefy, vaporize. Whoa. So what if there are places in your body that you actually don't legally own or legally have the rights to. Oh, yeah, okay, legally have the rights to have this drug. Woo, whoa, yeah. So everything that brought up, do you choose to remove and destroy all that? Woo, yes, I choose that. Vaporize, liquefy, vaporize, liquefy, vaporize, liquefy, banish, vanquish, banish, vanquish, banish, vanquish, banish, vanquish. Yeah, and so let's just do a quick couple clearings around that. So all the places that you don't energetically have the rights to, Ooh. that we can just easily change now, so sometimes by just like acknowledging something or seeing something, that's enough to change it. Woo, that's enough to change a lot of it. So all the places that you um, don't energetically have the rights to in your body, Ooh. do you choose to remove and destroy everything that's preventing you from having those rights so you can access those parts of your body if you choose to? Woo, <laughs> yes, I choose that. Vaporize, liquefy, vaporize, liquefy, vaporize, liquefy, banish, vanquish, banish, vanquish, banish, vanquish, banish, vanquish. Woo, whoa. And then any parts of your body that you don't legally have the rights to. Ah, yeah, that just doesn't feel good, does it? Ah. So all the parts you don't legally have the rights to, all of those that we can just change easily and quickly, so you can have rights to those parts. Do you choose to remove and destroy all that? Oh, yes. So all those legal agreements, retract, rescind, <laughs> revoke, recant, renounce, make null and void, make null and void, make null and void, annul, 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 annul. Whew. Wowza. Woo okay. Yeah. Um, and so what's everything that this little 
um, <laughs> this little, um, what's well, so everything that we brought up and activated? Oh. That would be a contribution for you to change and a contribution for you to clear and a contribution for your body to clear Woo. in this moment. Woo. So all of that, do you choose to change, clear, release, or, and or allow all that to be removed? That's a contribution to you and a contribution to your body. Oh, yes, I choose that. Vaporize, liquefy, vaporize, liquefy, vaporize, banish, vanquish, banish, vanquish, banish, vanquish, banish, vanquish. And let's just move that out. Ooh, vaporize, liquefy, vaporize, liquefy. Wowza. Woo. Yeah. So I'm going to be talking about this and even more um, in the class that's removing the influences that are messing with your body and your weight. Yeah. Yikes. Wow. I just feel the energy on that. Woo. Yeah. And so there's still time to join that. Um, so I'll put the link um, in the comments below. And whether you do or not, I want you to have this amazing connection with your body because you and your body both deserve that amazing connection. Mm -hmm. Do you feel the love in that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so if you have any questions around what this brought up, um, if you want to join the class, or if, um, yeah, if something funky came up, because sometimes when we're talking about bodies, funky things can come up, um, let me know in the comments below, and I look forward to seeing more of the amazing you and your wonderful body again soon. Bye for now.